Hello everyone, Vicki Verley here, Rock and Roll Prophetess. Thank you for joining me for the August of 2016 free tarot scope with animal totem cards. Uh, real quickly, I want to thank everybody for their continued support. You can do so by donating or buying some of my many wares, as such as the tarot book, the adult coloring books, and my decks. We're going to be doing the reading first from the Rock and Roll Tarot deck, second edition, which for a short time, if you're watching this in July, the Kickstarter is still going on. I'm trying to get it on Amazon so people in Europe can do it. So donations to that would be appreciated. Then we're going to pull a card from the Animal Totem card. I'm going to explain a few things about the readings now so you don't have to listen to, I don't have to repeat myself 12 times. So if you already know how my readings work, you can skip ahead. First of all, I want you to take a look at every card when I pull it. Look at the words. If things stand out to you or morph and change or you think that it says something else besides what it really says, please go with that. This is Empowerment Tarot. These cards are meant to speak to you. Allow this to happen. Um, this is not so you can be dependent on me. This is so you can get your own messages and find your own way. Uh, if you do not get your message from watching your sun sign and possibly check your rising and moon and maybe you'll get a message from there. You should learn to trust your uh, inner guidance. Uh, the court cards. These are the cards of the kings, queens, knights, and pages. Uh, if a queen comes up, I'm going to refer to the queen as a she or a female, but really it could be male or female. This, there's no gender speci specific things going on in these general readings. Finally, I want everybody to pick a color before we start the reading. And then once you have your color, we're going to move on for the monthly reading for each sign. Again, thank you for your support. Please check the eye in the sky and don't forget to hit subscribe. On to the reading. Hello, Sag, and welcome to the um, August 2016 Tarot Scope and Animal Totem for Sagittarius. Got a couple here. I'm going to put them both out. Okay, Sagittarius for August 2016. Sag, August 2016. <clears throat> Excuse me. A couple more for Sag. August 2016. Sag. Well, you've got a really nice spread here, Sag. Let's put these babies out here and move that. And make a little room. I put the deck down here. Okay, put the deck. Put this deck here and that deck there. Okay, let's get this thing out. Well, you know, a lot of money cards right off the bat. We got pentacles, pentacles, pentacles all across the top row here. And um, in this time frame, in the time of uh, August, we are going to move into an Earth sign, Virgo, after the 22nd. We'll be moving into Virgo. So this could be saying something that's coming in in Virgo, or it just could be money, you know. Um, this could be a, totally be a person, King of Pentacles. You know, King of Pentacles is somebody who has power. Usually is money involved, you know, either they're wealthy or they are, you know, banker, investor, you know, could be somebody like that that you're dealing with. Um, Right next to is the page of uh, page of rods or pentacles. I keep wanting to say rods. Well, you guys are rods, and we do have queen of rods down here. But back up here, this is the news is coming. So you're going to get some news about money. The king of pentacles is involved. I feel like he's the one that's going to give you the call. You're going to get the email, the call, whatever from him. This says bonus, but I just saw nuts. So uh, nuts. I don't know. Maybe you think he's nuts, or I don't know. <laughs> or is somebody out there investing in, like, you know, a pecan farm or some kind of crazy thing like that? Who knows? Um, but I just saw nuts there. But if you think he's nuts, he's not nuts. Let's just put it that way. Um, the Three of Pentacles. So this is this, uh, it's going to school. It can be schooling. And it's the apprenticeship and everything. But sometimes it's like something you've been working on. And I feel like uh, for a lot of you, this is like some kind of th project that you've been working on. And now you're ready to show it. You're going to show it to the person and they're going to say, yeah, I like it. Like it could be like maybe it's your art and they says, this is a gallery owner. Like, yeah, we want to show your work in the gallery. Or um, 
it's plans. It feels like it's plans here too for somebody. Maybe this is plans and this is the architect or, or the, uh, the architect and the bank gives you the money to do the plans or um, but it's something that there's some there's an aspect of it of like you've been working on this or kind of you know creating it in your mind and now it's starting to become a reality. That's what I kind of get about it. Uh, you do have justice down here, so with right in line with this coming of the money, so justice totally could be a loan. I mean, it could be a loan, it could be a grant, an endowment, a scholarship. Because uh, often, too, justice does have to do with uh, government stuff. So like I'm saying, a scholarship or something like that. Maybe some of you are involved in a legal matter, a court case of some sort. Maybe you've been, this has been, you've been gathering your evidence and now you get your day in court. Um... Because there's this this thing about you've been planning and prepping over here, I feel. Um, justice, too, could just be some contract signed, and it's something good. There is this thing about disappointment, though, here, too. So, And this is the very central card as well, this Five of Cups. So it's something that there has been disappointment over. But it, it really feels like um, it's it's coming back. So say like if it's a grant, maybe you applied for a grant and you didn't get it. But don't turn your back on additional grants that might be available. Or you, we wanted to get a loan from a bank and they said turns you down. But maybe there's another bank or another finance, financial uh, option that you're going to get. Some of you, this could be a job. Maybe you went to school and you're trying to get this job and you didn't get the first job you applied for, the one you wanted the most. But then, you know, another one comes along. Whatever it is, there's something coming along. Don't get stuck in this. Because look at his stance. He's not only is he looking at the spilled cups, but he is turning his back on this. And you don't want to turn your back on this because this is just a upright. This is something good that's coming for you. Far. It's actually fair, but I saw far. So uh, it might seem far off, maybe. You know, maybe it, it kind of seems far off to you. Um, maybe for some of you it's you have to it's far away like you have to move or something like that or it's far away from if you're looking for a home maybe it's far away from where you really the neighborhood you wanted to live in or the area you want to live in but it's all going to come around you got to keep your heart open that's what the fool is all saying the fool is all about oh by the way if you had picked that color and you see it in here pay special attention to that word or that symbol that the color appears in but oh don't limit yourself. Anything that changes, like I'm seeing things fair and different stuff I saw. Uh, not, you know, let that happen. It's for you to uh, delve into. But fool is all about, um, you know, take a chance. Take a risk. Give it a shot. You know, give it another crack. Don't, uh, don't get caught in the past. The fool is totally in the moment. He's very much in the moment. He's right in the now. He's willing to take a risk. He's willing to put himself out there. This is probably you, Queen of uh, Rods. And if you listen to the intro, you would know that it doesn't have to be male or female. So, um, Queen of Rods is here. Upright position. Aligned with the Fool. Taking this chance. Taking this risk. And this F.A. again. F.A. 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 Fa. That's a note in the scale. Do, me, do re mi fa so la ti do. But maybe that's something for somebody, F-A. You know, maybe it's initials or something. Actually, that F stood out to me, too. So, F. What could that mean? I don't know. Fool, F again. Oh, there's probably an F on every card, yeah, if you really start looking. But, uh, I don't know. Uh, F is, uh, what? That's a 7? Isn't it a 7? No, uh, it's a 6. F is 6 in uh, numerology. I'm not sure, but maybe it's a message for somebody. So anyways, here you are in the upright position. You've got the fool on one side, taking risk, taking chance, being open. And you've got star right here. When star shows up in a spread, is awesome. But when the star shows up right next to you, that's super awesome. Because it just means, um, you know, spirits and angels are with you. That... Uh, you're being guided. This is a gift. This is a blessing. Don't be um, caught in, you know, disappointment because the universe has something bigger or better or more in store for you, a bigger plan. You know, a bigger plan with star involved. It's always positive. Um, 
the Nine of Rods is over here, and that's a card about being on guard. Now, I was looking at what's he looking at. He's looking at Star. So for some of you, maybe it's been a long road and you've been really working a long time on this and you might be losing faith, because that is the word is faith here, F-A-I-T-H. And maybe faith is what I'm trying to get to, because um, definitely fool takes faith and star is faith, too. And it doesn't have to be, quote-unquote, religious faith. You know, it's just faith in, faith in yourself, faith in the universe, faith that you're on the right path, that you're doing the right thing. So faith is going to be strong with And if it is religious, then cool, it's religious. Whatever it is for you, but it's not, it's, we're not limiting it to. Not, it, because star is unlimited. And so is fool. Fools are ready for anything. Fools are ready for anything that's going to come along. They're not, the fool energy is not like, oh, well, it had to be this. Because this energy is like, well, it had to be this. I tried three times, and that's it. I'm done. No, there's always hope. There's still full cups left. You can't get stuck there. And don't look a gift horse in the mouth, almost, too, I want to say on this one. When blessings, you know, stuff comes, shows up at your doorstep or falls at your feet, don't be, like, right away going, oh, well, you know, talking yourself out of it or down-talking it or trying to make it, you know, getting in that zone. Because that's, that's not good for anything. That's not going to help. Uh, stay positive. Stay open. There's definitely something coming. It may be a little bit later in the month. It might be after the Virgo time, but it might not be. That's not a for sure thing. This could just be talking about the person who is the financier, the, the money person, the money man, but whoever, you know. So finances are picking up. Spirits, guides, and angels are right with you, helping you along. For some of you, this is somebody's going to get custody of a child. I'm feeling pretty strong here. Like, I feel like there's something that went on and... Um, you're going to get custody of your child or your grandchild or even maybe an adoption of some sort. I feel real strong about that for some of you. Like this thing isn't about money. I mean, maybe you had to put up money to get a lawyer or whatever, you know, but that it's just the justice is the strongest thing, you know. That and it's, it's child custody. Somebody's going to get custody of some child, a child here, or some children. I feel that real strong, and I feel like for some of you, these are your grandchildren. Somebody out there, that's your grandchildren. You're going to get, um, going to get custody or visitation rights, or you know something along that line. I just saw vi and my, this vit was like visitation. You know, it could be visitation. And again, let that happen. Look at these cards. If it starts looking like a different word, don't, don't. Don't snap yourself out of it. Stay with it. Look at it. Let that happen. Okay, uh, Sag. I was going to say Leo. Hmm. Well, we're in the time of Leo for most of the month. Maybe that's what I was going to say. I know it's a Sag. Don't comment. Don't freak out. I know I'm reading for Sag. Okay, Sag. Uh, August. The crow. Crow's a rabbit or a raven. Magic. It's magic. I know that. First word, magic. Magic myth, legends, and lore. The raven is calling you to awaken to the mystery of enchantment, like this. Just trusting and you know, having faith. It is time to shapeshift your life into what you want it to be. Well, that's the truth there. You know, don't be looking at um, what's wrong and being like, I'm a victim. You can transform and shapeshift your life into... Uh, I'm hearing, I'm hearing it. I'm actually, I think it's the crow makes the caw caw sound. Ravens make a difference, but I'm hearing that caw 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 caw. And, I'm, and it, I'm feeling like I want to tell you guys, like, listen to the call. The raven is calling you to awaken to mystery and enchantment. There's, there's, there's magic in this world. And you, there, you could have a very magical month here with all this stuff. And these are major arcana cards, too. Justice is a major arcana, star, and fool are all major arcana. Higher forces are at work. Um, uh, uh, hear that call, or what, uh, what? Not hear. What's the word I'm trying to say? Heed that call. When you hear the call, go for it. Listen to it, even if it doesn't make sense, even if it doesn't seem right, or or you can't explain it away, or there's no logical explanation with it. Just go with it. Follow the magic. Follow the synchronicity. Let let things happen. Let blessings come because blessings are coming. Um, the only thing that can block it is you. And don't keep running over in your mind about everything that, all the loss you suffered or, you know, all the bad things. Because something, and for some of you, I feel like this is going to just turn on a dime. Bam. 
Like it might look like, especially if there's some court case involved for somebody here, it might seem like, oh, well, there's no way. You know, this, this, and this is against me. There's no way they're going to rule in my favor. You know, be in that downer uh, state of mind, and bam, guess what? Because there's higher forces at work, especially for those of you that this is having to do with some custody of some kids or something. Those kids are supposed to be with you. This is a soul contract here. And those kids are going to, they're, they're meant to be with you. So <laughs> there's lots of other things are at work just besides the, even the justice system or besides this or that or the evidence or, you know, the, the laws or whatever. There's higher forces at work. They're supposed to be in your life. They're supposed to know you, even if it's just visitation. Like it keep comes, this keeps kind of turning into visitation. So, and I feel for a lot of you, a visitation maybe if it's your own kids, but I feel for a lot of you, these are grandkids. I feel like somebody's, uh, there's some grandkids out there that are really needing you in their life and that you have a soul contract. Ooh, when I said that, I just got chills all down my legs. So that's a definite for some, but not for everybody, you know, uh, it's for somebody. Overall, though, embrace the magic, go with the magic, believe in the magic. Something that you've been preparing and trying to get together looks like it's going to be go time and the money's going to be there and justice, it's, it's all happening. It's all happening at the zoo. I was just hearing that song in my head, so I do believe that it's all happening at the zoo. So maybe some of you got to go to the zoo too. <laughs> Anyways, hey Sagittarius, thank you guys all for donating, liking, sharing, commenting, picking up all my wares, books, decks, and so on. You can find all that information up there and also below. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you never miss a post. Remember you're Love and Beauty Incarnate. Check out that Kickstarter if you see this in July. Have a great month of August and I'll speak to you soon.